Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Ooh, I have a new conspiracy, guys. It involves the identity of a certain skeleton that loves knocking around the old funny bone. Drum roll, please. That's right, Sans is none other than Big Skeleton from the 1992 Welsh cartoon, Funny Bones. Um, but where is your concrete evidence? Concrete evidence? This is a YouTube video. Just believe everything I say or my fans will attack you. Oh, well, okay. Not <laughs> okay, so maybe we don't know the actual identity of our skeletal quipster. Unless, of course, his identity is none other than... Sans the Skeleton. But what we do know is that there are some deep psychological problems or issues deep within the mind of this character. Namely, his depression. But in order to understand what exactly comes into play for Sans' character, we have to know what depression entails. So what is depression? Many people assume it just means being sad all the time, and while that may be a part of it, it is by far not the only piece of the puzzle. It Taken directly from the National Institute of Mental Health, Major depression is defined as severe symptoms of depression that interfere with your ability to work, sleep, study, eat, and enjoy life. Which is a straightforward meaning. Now let's look at the symptoms. Persistent, sad, anxious, or empty feelings. Feelings of hopelessness or pessimism. Feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or helplessness. Irritability, restlessness. Loss of interest in activities or hobbies once pleasurable. Fatigue and decreased energy. Difficulty concentrating, remembering details, and making decisions. Insomnia, early morning wakefulness, or excessive sleeping. Overeating or appetite loss. Thoughts of suicide, suicide attempts, aches and pains, headaches, cramps, or digestive problems that do not ease, even with treatment. And some of us, some of us know these symptoms all too well. Though being a skeleton, digestive problems would be an interesting case. It's easy to see how these all fit into the way Sans reacts to decisions in the story. Sans is shown having a huge feeling of futility and hopelessness. His dialogue, especially in the genocide run, shows just how he feels things have been all for nothing. You can't understand how this feels. Knowing that one day, without any warning, it's all going to be reset. Look, I gave up trying to go back a long time ago. And getting to the surface doesn't really appeal to me anymore either. Cause even if we do, we'll just end up right back here. Without any memory of it, right? To be blunt, it makes it kind of hard to give it my all. Or, is that just a poor excuse for being lazy? Hell if I know. And now I know you're all saying, well, we already knew that. And yes, that's because this is the most pertinent point of our Pexky punster. 
but there are more clues to his depression. Such as him falling asleep while on his job, but even more so, falling asleep during the fight with him. While it could be argued that it's the fight wearing him down to exhaustion, he's certainly not working his fingers to the bone. <laughs> Simplified, this could be caused by a number of reasons. But, as we know, depression can cause intense insomnia, which, in turn, turns into fatigue. And with insomnia and fatigue, you try to sleep whenever your body lets you. You can be tossing and turning all night, unable to get a wink. And then, middle of the day, you can take a nap. Sans finds sleep whenever he is able to. But because he's constantly on and off and on and off, he feels so fatigued that he just can't keep up with everyday activity. And those are just a broad stroke of things that could affect someone with major depression. The Sleep Foundation actually outlines many variants on each of these issues and adds a few lesser considered ones. But now it is also heavily implied that Sans has guilt over something. Perhaps the incident with Gaster. It is the dialogue of the Lost Soul version of Sans that hammers it home, though. You'll never see him again. It could also be that Sans is one of the very few people who seems to be able to see all of the timelines and game resets. Maybe this is why he has feelings of futility, and why he just sits by while the genocidal path takes place. And all the while, this gives him a feeling of guilt. But we'll get right back to this later. For now, though, let's look at another aspect of Sans's personality. His affinity for comedy. It Sans wants to make people laugh and enjoy the life or lives that he can't. Humor has been well known as a shield against harsh realities. In fact, the term gallows humor describes just that. Sans is using something that we, as humans, use to deal with harsh anxiety. Sans's very design is even used to reflect his emotional state. His face, while wearing a skeletal grin, also resembles a mask. A mask to hide his true feelings. We all wear metaphorical masks from time to time. And Sans is no different. Also, notably, he wears the color blue, which is a color often used, as many people know, as a means of expressing sadness, depression. You feel the blues.